We begin with breaking news. Controversial Aboriginal Senator Patrick Brazo is no longer a member of the National Conservative Caucus. National Bureau Chief David Aiken is following this quickly developing story, and he joins me now live from our Parliamentary Bureau in Ottawa. David, what's the latest? Well, it appears Senator Brazo was kicked out of caucus this morning uh, after uh, his apparent arrest in connection with a domestic violence incident. Uh, we've been told that the Prime Minister, Prime Minister Stephen Harper, was informed of these developments. And uh, this is the, uh, the, what we've heard from the Prime Minister, that uh, he was, quote, appalled and saddened when he heard the allegations this morning and he took immediate action, that action being to remove Senator Brazo from the Conservative caucus. His office, Brazo's office, uh, all they'll say at this point is he did not uh, show up for work this morning and they confirmed that he was removed from caucus and he will sit as an independent senator. What we can tell you at this hour, there are police investigators at Brazo's home in Gatineau. You're looking at the picture right now. You can see the orange police tape has been uh, strung around his home. There's a police car in the driveway way. Uh, we're not at this point able to confirm where Brazo is at this time, but that uh, police in Gatineau say that at 9:10 this morning uh, there was an arrest of a male suspect in connection with a domestic violence incident. Uh, as per protocol in these cases, uh, the police in Gatineau are not releasing names of the male suspect arrested, nor of any victims in this incident or of anybody else in the house. But uh, the Prime Minister again appalled and saddened, that was the phrase from the PMO, uh, when he heard of these allegations and taking immediate steps. Okay, David, uh, allegations, what are these allegations, especially if you hear words like that coming from the Prime Minister? Well, clearly there'd be very serious allegations, obviously involving some sort of criminal wrongdoing. And as we say, the Gatineau police uh, are involved. They're making their investigations. Presumably, uh, they may have some more to say uh, towards the end of the day. All they will confirm at this point is a male suspect arrested in connection with a domestic violence incident. We have police at Senator Brazo's home. Uh, obviously, as you saw the shots there, it looks pretty serious. They've got the tape going up around the house. Uh, but, uh, you know, are you ready to make the leap? It seems apparent that it was Brazo arrested, but uh, no one at this point is uh, confirming. No one, when we say no one, neither anybody with the Prime Minister's office, nor the Gatineau police, nor Brazo's office, uh, saying that he is, in fact, the one uh, who was arrested. And we do not have any information at this time to report on the nature, uh, if any, uh, of any charges uh, facing uh, Senator Brazo. He's the youngest person in the Senate, 38 years old. He's an Aboriginal leader. He's been very outspoken over the last little while in connection with the Idle No More pro uh, protests, uh, uh, you know, uh, saying to First Nations leaders they need to be more accountable to their own people, to their bands. He's had some big dust-ups with Chief Theresa Spence of Attawapiskat. He's had dust-ups with members of the Parliamentary Press Gallery. Most famously, of course, he's had a, a, an actual sparring match with Justin Trudeau. That was the one he lost. And right now he's also facing some scrutiny over some uh, expenses that, that he's charged Canadian taxpayers for his uh, living allowance here in Ottawa. His, he's claimed his primary residence is in Manawaki, Quebec. That's about 130 kilometers north of here. You get that allowance if you live 100 kilometers away way. Uh, he does rent his home in Gatineau. That's the one we are showing you a minute ago and says his primary residence is his father's house in Manawaki. There is some concern that that's really just a, a postal address that he does actually live here and that would disqualify him from receiving about $20,000 a year in housing allowance. So he has a few troubles right now, obviously uh, very big troubles if in fact he was arrested and, and if he is uh, facing any charges in connection with the domestic violence uh, dispute uh, at his home in uh, Gatineau, Quebec earlier today. Okay, David, I'm going to quickly read a quote from the, the leader of the government in the Senate. Uh, that's Marjorie LeBreton. In the light of the serious nature of the events reported today, Senator Brazo has been removed from the Conservative caucus. As this is a legal matter, I cannot comment any further. Uh, now, we do know that he is at this point still a senator, though, right, David? Uh, that's right. There is a procedure to remove a senator, and, and there could be a procedure if he is, in fact, convicted, or if any senator uh, is convicted of a felony. There is some language uh, in the Constitution that would allow for his removal as a senator. Uh, it will be up to the Senate itself to make that decision. Uh, reporters did try to get some more information from Senator LeBreton just about a half hour ago. Uh, on her way into the Senate chamber and she declined comment referring reporters to that particular statement. Uh, other MPs are also reacting, other MPs and senators, uh, essentially echoing the words of the Prime Minister saying that they were very sad when they learned of uh, these allegations. Uh, one MP, Eve Adams, she's an MP from the Toronto area, going so far as to say that you know if there is a situation in which there's any uh, harm to women that uh, the full weight of the law should be brought to bear in this case, that they 
find that unacceptable. Uh, again, the PM uh, at this point, all he's saying is uh, appalled and saddened. David, with this information coming up, I'm sure it's going to be a long day for you. Thank you for keeping your eye on this. Thanks. And that's National Bureau Chief David Aiken joining us live in our Parliamentary Bureau.